Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. We're going to be going into something on ML Leica today. So, if you're new, be sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and yeah, uh, I did watch her gameplay. She is good. I made sure to at least watch Elf Mage, Mage play her first before dedicating to the cause. But yes, she's good. She does do her job, uh, and I think she is future proof. So, we will be going ahead and pulling her. Hopefully, we can just get her instantly so we can start saving up for the next unit. But we shall see. Oh, it's Yunfin on the banner, right? So I guess Yunfin dupes are always good. <clears throat> we will be doing a showcase with her too, and we will be showing the build off. Oh, wait, we didn't get anything. Uh, so we need 50 more. Damn. Can I just get a purple white right now? Thank you very much. If this is her, great. If this is t -Cern, I don't have any use for it. It's t -Cern, isn't it? We're gonna have to go to pity, aren't we? Wait, 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 wait. There's still hope. Oh, I needed silk dupe. That's an SS silk, I think. Aw, oh, is that the purple? Yeah, unlucky. I already have her triple dust. Well, we got, we got, um, whatchamacallit, uh, dupe of silk. So one more of those and she's triple dust. Oh, another purple spark. Maybe this will be the one. If I pull her early, it's great, but at the end of the day, I still have to go in deep anyway. Alright, T Cern. I don't need I don't need more of you. Oh, I was like, I can click it. Jeez. How many T Cerns have I gotten? Three? Two and one multi? Oh my goodness. Good god. Hellcutter. Imagine if that was a new ML4 on the banner, I would have never pulled them. Hellcutter. Let me guess. Hellcutter. No, okay. They switched it up at the very last second. How many more we have to go? 20 more? Oh, okay, so we have two more multis to go, and then we're done. So next multis guarantee her. Unfortunately, we had to go to hard pity, so hopefully the next unit we summon for um, isn't a hard pity unit. Um, current five. Okay, so. Yippee. Damn, we went to hard pity. So maybe the next unit we summon for uh, won't take us to hard pity. And that is Leica, yippee. All right guys, so here is our Leica. She has 3.7K attack. Um, whenever I actually get dupes in her, she should boost her up close to 4,000. Um, she's at 291 critical damage. I just need to adjust my gear and get better pieces in the future to make this three, uh, 300. She's at 285 or 258 speed. You can add seven speed to it due to the RTA buff. Uh, so she should be cooking. Um, I do have her in the grace because I don't have the materials to fully awaken her. But as soon as I get her fully done, I will take her out of the grace. And, uh, yeah. The only thing she's lacking is S1 damage. But it's okay. Ideally, you just pop the S2, S3, and you're cooking. So we're going to go ahead and test her out in Arena and see how good this unit really is. Alright, for this match, we're going to go ahead and bring Eligos. We're going to bring Leica because those are kind of synergetic. We're going to bring another book holder, which is going to be Senny. And we're going to bring Commander Cavill since we can technically set him off here. So we have this try um, for the... For this one. So we should have four slow. Our books bugged my dumb. Wait, no, wait, books. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I was looking up here. Uh, we're going to soul burn this into um, Apoc Robbie, I think, so we can shove her back and then also take care of her with Blyka. So the cool thing is with Leica, we could soul burn and go for another one. Um, like for example, if I wanted to try to defense break, maybe our uh, target the Destina, I resisted. Uh, that's okay. But now we have the AOE. Oh, 
Oh, we're, we're total sword. It's awkward. Book. Oh, he crit. My goat. Um, and then we go like this. This should kill, and then we're already out of here, just like that. I was tossed to the S3. Unfortunately, we did get resisted on the Destina, but that's why you bring a secondary one, so you have a better chance to not resist, right? And then insta clear, just like that. We are gaming. I'm impressed with her. As long as you get target debuff, she explodes whatever she's aimed at, which is kind of her purpose. All right, for our next game, we're going to be going into a Politis Senya um, loadout and see what we can do here. We can't we can't actually use her non-attack skills, so we're not going to. So we're going to rely on Elios to be the one to set up for us. Uh, I think the best way of... Oh, that's actually really fast. We have to send her back. So we'll just go ahead and defense break that and send her back. Just like that. Um, can't soul burn. There's no reason to. So we're just going to pop the S3 and see what kind of damage we can do. Kill two with that. Perfect. Politis is dead. So they can only revive one. Oh, am I, am I joking? They're, they're not going to get to revive today if we get the chance. Okay, she, she will get the revive. That is fine. So what we do here is... I think we just go into Stenny should take care of that. Um No, second thought was just get rid of Sonia. Sonia's free. As long as we get the crate, which we did. Then we go like this. And then we go like this. She's looking good. Dual attack. We can actually just do... We can do this. Rip the immunity. Go like this. Hit her with one of these. Matter Pavel pops. And kills. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I like it. It's pretty cool. Alright, we're going to be going into another game. They have Violet. They have Maid. They have a a mid. And they have a Apocalypse Robbie. So let's go ahead and try this again. I need to buy more books. We're, having, we're going through the games too fast. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Alright. So we do what we do best, which is, I think in this case, um, these are both kind of threats, but we can strip this. Um, so let's shove the maid back. And uh, since we have ignore ER completely with him, make sure we get rid of the maid. Nice. And then we soul burn onto the Apoc Robbie here. And now everything should die. Oh, Apoc lived. That's a little... Wait, we, it doesn't matter. We have the next shot coming through. Box. I think we still win. <laughs> I think we still win. What the heck? Oh, the Aiden, man. Cringe. It's okay, we still won. Yeah, we still won. Even though we lost, we won. It's all that matters. Uh, we, we did enough damage to actually make it to where the whole team got set up. We got the Cavalry AoE going through. We have the, uh, the, the book from Elios going through. Like, it just all kind of just went out. It's pretty awesome. Okay, right, guys, so that was Emma Leica. I am actually kind of impressed with her. She's really fun. She sets up for some fun cleaving styles, especially of Cavill and Elios. Um, her S2 is actually quite good. Um, even though you can get resisted. The cool thing about this S2 is that since it's 100%, you don't really need effectiveness on her, right? Because of it being 100%. So you have a good chance of just doing her job on her own with the Soul Burn. 
Uh, even without her Soul Baron, you can set her up with Green Lyca, you can set her with Ellie Ghost. There's a lot of options, or there's enough options to make this work where she's not as niche as like maybe like a another unit. Um, with that, her damage is quite impressive. Even on my budget build, um, it's still really good. Obviously, I'm going to get her imprinted up in the future, go for Triple S, get her above 4,000 damage. Uh, or 4,000 attack, and then I do plan on getting her 9% more critical damage uh, in the future. Get around, uh, get her around that proper 300%. Because I do think if you're going for her end game stats, or if you want to build her for more end game, go for 4K attack, go for 300 critical damage, and then get as much speed as possible. But just make sure your opener, like Eligos, is always faster by at least 10 speed. That way you can make her work. Um, Elf Mage has got a really good one. She's got 4.1K attack. She's got like 300 critical damage and i think he's like 385 so his is ridiculous mine's more like a budget build one but even with her being a budget build you guys saw what she was doing she was instant clearing and winning instantly it made matches go by so fast so i'm happy that i got her i do think she's a really fun unit and whether or not you get her it's kind of up to you if you're not a cleaver don't stress it save her hand guy or captain flan um and get those on your account instead uh if you are a cleaver i do think she's a fun option so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this one and yeah i'm glad i pulled her peace